Hey y'all, welcome back. This is going to be your message, your next 48 for the sign of Gemini. So if you have Gemini anywhere in your chart, these messages may or may not resonate. If they do, please like and subscribe. Shout out to my subscribers. I appreciate y'all. I do personal readings. That information will be down below in the description box. Also, um, I accept donations and tips through Cash App only. That information will also be down below my description box. So, for Geminis, I feel like we have the Prince of Swords clarified by the King of Swords. I feel like either you're rushing in towards someone or someone is rushing in towards you. I feel like it's you rushing towards someone, though. I feel like this person might be rejecting you or they rejected some new love offer that you tried to give them and they also blocked you or they're protecting themselves i feel like it's because you was refusing to see something about this empress we have the two of swords here and the empress card i feel like it was something you was refusing to see about this person and i feel like this is probably why they blocked your offer i feel like somebody also found out that you was you know you could have been offering them new love or something like that because you might have tried the one to come in and get them pregnant to keep them stuck or trapped somehow. I don't know. But I feel like now you want to come in to apologize to this person because you realize they are now, I mean, they have a, um, they had a new financial beginning coming in for them or something happened with them financially. And I feel like now you want to come in and apologize to them. This can also be someone doing this to you. You can reverse the roles and which way they fit in your story. But I want to see what this Prince of Swords and King of Swords is about. Six of Cups. Yeah, this is someone from your past. What's the Princess of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles? Oh, that's too many cards. Oh, well. Yep, yeah, we have the Ace of Swords here. We have the Ace of Swords... We have the Ace of Swords, which is which is Truth and Clarity. We have the Four of Wands, and we have the Princess of Swords. I feel like this person could have bossed up and brought a home once they got this new financial beginning with this Four of Wands. And I feel like now you're realizing the truth about this person with the Ace of Swords. So it's like now you're sitting back watching this person become this boss with this King with the King of Pentacles. Or this can be somebody, you know, like I said, whichever way, you know. But let's get some more messages. What else messages do you have for the sign of Gemini Spirit? What else messages do you have for the sign of Gemini? Or for Gemini for the next 48? Yeah, we have forgiveness. I feel like now you may want this person to forgive you for doing something, for you doing something to them. Or... Somebody wants your forgiveness for them doing something to you. Like I said, you want you probably you may want to probably go come in, or you're probably trying to apologize to this person for doing what you did, or even saying what you said. Like I said, this person found out something that you did or said. Oh, might have something to do with your family and guidance. You, might have, you could have been talking about this person to your family in a messed up way. We have bliss. Yeah. I feel like this person also, I don't know. I want to say this person was very pure, very blissful. But the way you talked about this person towards your family, you could have made them, you could have made it sound like this person was a dog and they were just out here doing things to you that pretty much was a lie. You know, like, making it seem like, oh, this person had all this going on and was lying and cheating and sneaking around. But I don't think it was that. I think that you were doing majority of that and this person was only doing what, you know, they was only doing what pretty much kept them, I don't know, like, grounded or kept them from feeling so much pain coming from this connection or whatever. 
I don't think I don't think the person was was hurtful like you say they were. Yes, now somebody is going through a rebirth, and because they, they was protected the whole time. Look at that. Yeah. Yep. Connection. Yep. Somebody's going through a rebirth. They could also be birthing birthing a new connection with someone else, and that connection is protected as fuck. Like. You can't you you can't fuck with that you can't fuck that up you can't fuck up that new connection you're not gonna be able to fuck up that new connection it just seems like every time you try to fuck up that new connection it's gonna backfire on you yeah I feel like it it just be best for you just leave it alone or leave them people alone like don't even worry about going towards that person like I feel like it's just best for you to leave them alone you know don't even I don't know. Stop trying to fight it or something. What else messages do you see? Do you have for the sign of Gemini spirit for their next forty-eight? I also feel like if you lost this person, it's it's just just accept that loss. I feel like you're you're refusing to see something. You were refusing to see something the whole time. Yeah, there's a change happening. It says you are transforming. Let go of the past. Embrace the light and joy of this new day. Yeah, there's a change here. I feel like this person was also creating something new anyway. Or it's time for you to start creating new things, new opportunities, new um, new opportunities, new ways of doing things, new ways of going about things. It says, remember your thoughts shape your future. Your words create today. Your choices become your reality. So I feel like, oh, you know what else I'm getting? I feel like if you were... If you created this to happen, this is something you was this is something that you Okay, let me put the cards down. Listen to this. So basically, you could have created this outcome to happen for you. Now you've been talking about this person in some type of way where, you know, God pretty much heard you talking about this person or their ancestors or whatever. They could have heard you talking about the talking about this person to your family. Or you could have been thinking to yourself in your head about this person. You could have been saying all the worst shit in the world about this person. Trying to make her look bad or look make them look bad, but it just seemed like you created your own karma. Gemini. Or this person created their own karma. So it's basically like now somebody wants to come back in and apologize because they see somebody else moved on. Somebody is, you know, they got money, they're wealthy, they're buying a new home. You know, because this person was protected the whole time. And I also feel like even if you try to get this person pregnant, they're, with the birth car here, I feel like their womb was protected as well. Because because it's like it's like their ancestors knew your intentions. So the, the pregnancy was blocked. Or her, her womb was blocked from you even trying to get this person pregnant. What else, Spirit? What else? I'm probably talking just fast as hell just now, but I'm trying to try help get it out, y'all. What else, Spirit? What else messages do you have for the sign? Oh, my God. I'm going to read this again. It's called Creation. It says, remember your thoughts shape your future. Your words create today. You, your choices become your reality. Y'all get, get that, right? I was just talking about that before I started recording this. Like, basically... Everything that you thought about, everything that you said, basically, this is what you created for yourself. You know, I was just saying this. Okay, Spirit, what else messages do you have for the sign of Gemini's for the next, for their next 48? Um, what's it? I just seen the card let go of the, oh, it says be honest. Yep. Now I feel like you want to be honest with this person. I feel like you want to tell this person the truth now. But I, I don't think this person really wants to hear it anymore. It's like you don't went you don't went too far to them. That's how they feel. What else, spirit? What else? Yeah, it's calm in the storm. I feel like I feel like um, this person was also calm with you during this whole situation. You know, you could have recently experienced some sort of tower moment, or you know. The connection could have experienced some sort of tower moment where this person had to stay calm. But at the same time, this person was honest with you. I feel like this person was also honest with you as well. 
What else, spirit? Yeah, it says challenge your perception. Yep. I feel like with that car, I feel like with challenge your perception, I feel like someone is now seeing through the through the illusions of shit. Through the fog. Yes, it says it says focus and then act. Yep. I feel like somebody is focusing now on on themselves and pretty much taking action on their own life and what they want to do and shit like that. Or they want to be their goals. Oh, too many cards. Okay, so this one still wanting to fly out. It says love without condition. Yeah, I feel like this person loved you without condition. This person never looked at you no different. You know, they loved you for who you were. They didn't care about what you had, what you didn't have. This person just loved you. Period. And I feel like you was refusing to see that about that person, but you kind of did things or said certain things about this person that was not, that was just cruel as hell. What else, spirit? What else messages do you have for the sign of Gemini for their next um, 48? You could have also did cruel things to this person and lied about it. But the thing about it, the thing about it is what, I, what I'm picking up on, this person knew, this person know, this person knows so much. I feel like I feel like you was also trying to do some sort of confusion, manipulation tactic on them. But I also feel like this person kind of sat back on that shit and really, 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 like, burst through this fog of illusions and realized that you were doing this the whole time is because you didn't want them to know that they that you did something to them that was fucked up. But they know it was you, even though they could have played it off and threw it off on somebody else, they knew it was you the whole time. Yeah, that's what it was. But the thing about it is, I don't know. Maybe it's because this person didn't react in a way you expect them to. So it's kind of like you became worried or something. Like, oh, you know. Hmm. What else messages do you have for the sign of Gemini spirit? Yeah, we have ceremony and celebration. It's time. It's a time of important life pass, pass, ugh, passage, passages, such as wed weddings, birthdays, graduations, or anniversary. I feel like this person is going to be celebrating something new. They may be getting married. Yeah, we have a spiritual or relig religious community. It says join with like-minded people for friendship and increase your spiritual growth. I feel like you're going to be going through some sort of transformation as well, which is going to help you change yourself, like change you spiritually. I feel like a lot of people that's going to be coming towards you are going to be people that can help you, you know, increase your spirituality in a way where you're changing yourself for the better. It's kind of like opening your heart chakra to be... I mean, opening your heart chakra to love more because it just like you're filled with so much hate. Yeah, you're on, you're going to be on your spiritual path. It says your true beliefs are coming clear to you with prompt you to it, which prompts you to make necessary life changes. Yep, I told you. So you're going to go through a transformation. This is going to help you open yourself up to your spirituality, which is going to help you change yourself to become a better person, so that you no longer put yourself in these cycles. Where you're dealing with someone, doesn't matter if that person got more than you or whatever. It's just like, you're really going to see that you actually have someone good versus not having someone good. Like, you're going to know when to cut people off and you're going to know when to keep them. And that can be your family, your friends, you know, partners, lovers, whatever. Or you're going to go through a transformation to realize, you know, this is going to help you open yourself up, period. To a whole new world. And I feel like it got a lot to do with. What you done to someone else. You gonna have to go through that. You know. You gonna have to go through that as well. So. Just prepare yourself for that. Situation and. Or that outcome you know. But at the end of the day. You know you'll be okay. God 
God still loves you. You know, you're, you're still forgiven. I don't know if that person is going to forgive you. But more likely, from the energy I'm picking up on, you know, they're kind of they're kind of pure-hearted. But I don't think they're going to want to talk or deal with you anymore. Or this could be the other way. But that's all I have. I will be back to do more. I'm out.